On the northern edge of Pure Michigan, discover a place like no other, where pure waters deliver mighty freighters, where families find pure fun, and where sunsets are pure beauty. Welcome to Sault Ste. Marie. Join us for a sneak peek at the place where Michigan was born. Sault Ste. Marie is located in Chippewa County, Michigan, at the easternmost end of the Upper Peninsula. This city of 15,000 people is located on the St. Mary's River, which serves as the natural border between the United States and Canada. Across the International Bridge lies Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, our Canadian sister city. Whether boating or gaming, shopping or dining, visitors to the Sioux can fill their days and nights with activities or simply relax and enjoy the scenery. Here's just a sampling of what awaits you. Every community has a heartbeat. In Sault Ste. Marie, it's the Sioux Locks, an engineering marvel that provides safe passage to more than 10,000 ships and boats annually. For more than 150 years, the Sioux Locks have connected the mineral-rich regions surrounding Lake Superior with the lower Great Lakes and beyond. Built where rapids once made the river impassable, Boats are now raised and lowered 21 feet from Lake Superior levels to Lake Huron levels. In the process, visitors enjoy a spectacular view of the freighters and other vessels that travel the St. Mary's River. Operated by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the Sioux Locks are more than just a shipping necessity. They are home to a beautiful park complex, complete with observation decks, a visitor center, fountain, gardens, and more, all free to the public. But it is the specter of these behemoths that keep people coming back. We've seen, um, before we were up here, we've seen thousand footers go through here. That's quite a thrill. I mean, no matter how many times you see the locks, it's, it's, it's still a thrill. The Arthur M. Anderson. Wow, <laughs> that was unbelievable. That was so cool. It was the uh, ship that was talking to the Edmund Fitzgerald when, uh, when she went down. It's an interesting sight watching the boats come through the locks. And you're going to get cool weather when you get this far north, so we like that. Take your vacation one step further. Don't just see the Sioux Locks, experience them. The Sioux Locks boat tours operate regular cruises on the St. Mary's River, including passage through one of the largest lock systems in the world, the American Locks. While on board, you'll also pass through the nearby Canadian Locks. The company conducts a number of cruises, including lock tours, lighthouse tours, and evening dinner cruises. Sit back, enjoy the ride, and let the captain and crew do all the work. The St. Mary's River is an active waterway, complete with tugboats, island car ferries, fishing boats, and more. Visit Rotary Park, where the freighters feel like they're close enough to touch. Spread a blanket, pack a lunch, or just grab a bench. You'll watch the river traffic on one side of the park and the action at the kids' fishing pond on the other. There are many places to enjoy views of the St. Mary's River, including the pier at Kemp Marina, Alfred Park, where anglers cast a line from the shore, or from a comfortable campsite on the water. To take in the river in its entirety, only one place can afford the most spectacular panoramic views, the Tower of History. Soaring 210 feet above Sault Ste. Marie, the tower's indoor and outdoor observation platforms provide a stunning vantage point from which the city, river, and neighboring Ontario can be viewed. But don't worry, the only thing that gets a workout at the Tower of History is your camera because a quick elevator ride delivers you to out-of-this-world vistas. From the Tower of History, you'll easily spot one of Sault Ste. Marie's most unique museums, the Museum Ship Valley Camp. This retired freighter is now home to more than 100 exhibits showcasing everything from maritime history to life on the Great Lakes. Walk the deck, tour the pilot house, and see how the crew lived aboard this once active vessel. The most famous attraction aboard the Valley Camp is its tribute to the SS Edmund Fitzgerald, the freighter that went down amid a 1975 storm with all hands lost. See the lifeboats that were later recovered empty. Back to the Edmund Fitzgerald, I'm a buff. Um, the power of to rip a lifeboat in half, wow, that's pretty neat. You gotta see that, that is awesome. The water continues to be the theme when you visit the River of History Museum in downtown Sault Ste. Marie. Tour the galleries and exhibits that tell the story not only of the river, but also the people, from native tribes to French missionaries, fur traders, and modern day leaders, including Michigan's only Upper Peninsula governor, Chase Osborne. Michigan's first city is full of surprises, 
all on display for kids and adults at the River of History Museum. History comes to life in Sault Ste. Marie in other ways as well. I am John Johnston. Welcome to my humble home. The Water Street Historic Block features several original buildings, including the John Johnston Home, built in 1795. Tour the home's interior and learn about its occupants, including fur trader John Johnston and his daughter Jane. Historic Water Street is free of charge and features musical performances throughout the summer. Beyond traditional museums, a number of historic buildings tell the story of Sault Ste. Marie. Be sure to check out the community's wealth of historic churches, including Central United Methodist Church, St. James Episcopal, and St. Mary's Pro Cathedral. Michigan's oldest continuously operating courthouse is also located in Sault Ste. Marie. The Chippewa County Courthouse was built in 1877 and is a must-see for architecture and photography buffs alike. Back on the water, perhaps the Sioux's most identifiable landmark is the hydroelectric plant, owned and operated by Cloverland Electric Cooperative. The perfect trifecta of architecture, history, and technology are found under the quarter-mile-long roof of this sandstone and steel structure that has generated electricity since 1902. Beloved by anglers, too, the power plant is a real hotspot for salmon, whitefish, and more. This talk of fish might make some folks hungry. Sault Ste. Marie has plenty of unique restaurants serving regional fare, including whitefish and pasties. One local restaurant that doubles as a must-see attraction is Antler's Restaurant. More than satisfying the stomach, Antler's is a feast for the eyes and the ears. And if something cold to drink is the order of the day, be sure to discover Sioux Brewing Company, featuring popular handcrafted beers and located in downtown Sault Ste. Marie. Just steps away are a variety of taverns and eateries with something for every appetite, including the sweet tooth. Fudge is a popular staple in Sault Ste. Marie, where a fresh batch is only minutes away. Nibble on some as you explore the downtown's two shopping districts, Ashman Street and Portage Avenue. Unique stores can be found within close proximity to popular attractions, including the miniature golf course, fun for people of all ages, and located across the street from the Sioux Locks. If a more serious game of golf is on your agenda, the Sioux is home to two public golf courses, each with a pro shop, dining options, and scenic surroundings. Families who seek a different outdoor option will find a haven at Sherman Park. Splash in the water, soak up the sun, or get active with basketball or volleyball. It's all free at the city-owned Sherman Park. The 19 and older crowd will find indoor fun at Kuwaitan Casino. With more than 800 slot machines and numerous table games, including poker, craps, blackjack, and roulette, Kuwaitan has one of the largest gaming floors in all of northern Michigan and the Upper Peninsula. Excitement extends beyond the gaming floor to Kuwaitan's concert venues, both indoors and out, where world-class acts in country music and rock and roll take the stage. If a smaller stage is what you have in mind, return to the Sioux Locks, where a summer concert series brings a variety of acts to the stage. Forget about an entrance fee. Instead, be sure to bring your lawn chair for what is always an enjoyable evening in the park. And dusk is just the right time for your final entertainment of the night, a twilight walking tour with master storyteller Wood Smoke Jim. Learn little-known stories of the men, women, and sometimes ghosts of Sault Ste. Marie and the Upper Peninsula. These donation-only tours are fun for the whole family and easily managed by people of all fitness levels. After exploring all that Sault Ste. Marie has to offer, it's a short ride to several other not-to-be-missed venues, including Point Iroquois Lighthouse, situated on a bluff overlooking Lake Superior. Climb the 65-foot tower and take in the view. Or tour the Lightkeepers exhibit on the first floor. A little more than an hour from Sault Ste. Marie are several other noteworthy attractions. The Whitefish Point Shipwreck Museum is a world-class facility that tells the story of the ships lost at sea on the Great Lakes, including the Edmund Fitzgerald, whose bell was recovered and is now on display inside the museum. Be sure to explore all the museum has to offer, including the grounds and the beautiful beach of Whitefish Point. 
Waterfall enthusiasts will be mesmerized by Tequamanon Falls State Park, where falls and rapids of varying sizes await you and your camera. Walk the trails and take advantage of stunning access points. You can even row a boat to a remote island for additional views. Don't forget to stop by the gift shop or plan a visit to the brew pub located at the park. Drive further for a wildlife experience like no other. Oswald's Bear Ranch is the largest bear-only ranch in the United States. This rescue facility features more than 30 bears roaming large habitats and young bears at play. A scenic waterfront, fascinating museums, family-friendly activities, and nature's wonders. With so much to see and do, we know that your Sault Ste. Marie vacation will leave you with memories like no other. Thanks for joining us on this quick tour. Now come and experience the real thing in Sault Ste. Marie.